Karen here. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome to today's Facebook Live. Sorry, i got to plug in our mic. Okay. <laughs> you know, still the real tech people here. So introduce yourself. Tim will set up the iPad so that I can see the comments as they come in. So we'd like to say hi to you at the beginning. And then today we're going to be focused on the Dragonfly Dreams Bundle. But, you know, I'm wearing my lovely new jacket. Thanks to all of you who made comments about that yesterday. It was really fun to get this box in the mail. And, you know, I said Tim's first comment was, I can't share that with you. He's used to, you know, me sharing everything I get. So Because it says Karen. It says Karen. Very personalized here. <laughs> but thought I'd wear this today. And let's see. Uh, the bundles, the or the, no, the paper shares. The first round is all set and ready to go out and I will do one more round if anyone's interested but we have all of the designer series papers the ribbons if you want to add the ribbons and if you get both I just thought this was a little fun I took some of the old little containers that we sell Can you see this Tim and I put some of the little this is just a little extra freebie for me if you get the things so some of the new accessories but I love this enjoy the little things so I just put that on the the outside you don't barely fit but it's just kind of a fun thing since they're all just little things inside so you can let me know if you're interested in that and okay. let's see I think we'll put it down now and let's see I'm gonna see if I can see comments someone was commenting you're looking at the iPad not the camera so I'll try to look at the camera but to read I have to come down here <laughs> okay so yes now if I get the comments going oh perfect Cindy McDonald, what a great way to send an hour learning ideas and techniques on my birthday. Cindy, I would love to send you a birthday card. Just message me your address so I don't have to look it up because I would love to do that. That's fabulous. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and Monica's working on her husband's birthday card. Hey, great. So today it's going to be all about the dragonfly. <laughs> Robin said, this is, uh, you know what? I'm reading comments in the wrong thing. <laughs> This was on, I showed my messy desk, and you guys are all replying. And Robin said she's having friends over, so she's going to have to clean hers off. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> I, I always have to do it for class. Okay, Tim, you're going to have to look on here to see if okay. you can find the video. And I will just get started, and then we'll catch up. Okay. So the Dragonfly Dreams Bundle, that is my class project for this month. And, you know, if you place a $50 order in my online store, you get my card, this card kit in the mail for free. You get two completed cards and three card kits to put together. Plus, you get PDFs. I'll be sharing one of the cards in the kit today, but mostly it's things you haven't seen. So in order to do this, you, you know, I think the easiest way to shop with me is just to go to my website, stampingonthebackporch.com or karentitus.com. They both get you there. And then on the side, you will see this information. Oh, no, wrong one. You'll see the host code right by where you click to go shopping. And then that takes you right to the store. So the host code is SYZQC9NF. If you place a $150 order, though, you don't want to use this because then you're your own host, if that makes sense. So I love, we're going to start with this really simple pretty card. We, this is one of the cards we made at the card extravaganza. Let's see, Tim, can you tell me if this is a good place, if I'm holding it close enough? And I don't know who no, to give credit to. I changed the words and things. I saw this and it was one of those you didn't really even have to take a note. I just thought how simple and lovely and elegant. So I don't know who to give credit to for the original card. But this is white on white, which I love that look too, using the falling petals, which also I think looks more like hearts. But anyway, it just works. Dragonflies actually represent transformation, change, personal growth, and development. They are often used as a religious symbol, and they are perfect for sympathy cards, congrat cards, all kind of cards. So it's just kind of fun to know that meaning. So this one we don't even need to do. You can see how quick that one is. Is it I making sense it. yet? Okay, let me we welcome a couple people before I actually make the next card. Mary Titus loves that good. Catherine, sopping wet there. Ooh, you're getting the rain. Oh, Tina, thanks for the jacket. Great. Nina just ordered it. You will love it. <laughs> okay, Catherine, you've been sick. Oh, like Tim. Tim has really been sick, so you take care. I've uh, and... actually figured this out. I've been sick all this year. I think I got sick like on 
New Year's Eve, and so yeah, and I'm feeling better today. But he's still looking for sympathy, so okay, yeah, yeah, you know, yes. he likes to play that sympathy card. Okay, we're gonna do another. And, and I get very little from Karen. So. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you guys are spoiling him, I'm afraid, because yes. everyone writes these lovely comments to him. <laughs> so it's all great. And Karen reads them to me. Yeah, I do. Yes. Do you want to just turn around read. so they can read it? Yeah, for when I show it. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, so e either one of those can be on there. I'm not never sure what's I'm on. Just, I'm just trying to be helpful. So we're going to do another really simple card that I haven't made. I'm just going to put together. I just, um, this was a last minute thing. You know, I'm always thinking I don't have enough ideas to share. And by the time one o'clock rolls around, I think I probably have too many. But we just like to pack it in. And I had um, a few comments from people asking about how to use different adhesives. So I'm actually going to show a variety of different adhesives today. And I looked this up. This is just amazing. Um, but I don't know where I put the notes. I think it's page 181 in the catalog where all the adhesives are. So even the silicone mat is on that. So, uh, so for doing this, I love this mint macaron. And I thought, I really love this. And of course, I forgot. To, this is um, like the gold foiled designer series paper, I think it's called. Someone can look up the exact name. But I thought, how pretty is that with the mint? I love this combination. So to put this on, you know, you, can, you would typically see right through there. So this is what we do. We use, oh, Tim, I think I forgot that. I need the liquid glue from the other room. What does it look like? What does it look like? Um, like that? It's in a squeeze bottle. You know what? I may have to come back and do this no, one. Oh, okay. Tim is going to get it. So I don't think there's enough on here right now to cover this. But by putting the, the uh, multi-purpose liquid glue on my silicone mat and then dabbing it, it will hold anything. This is what you would use with the thinlets because anything extra just stays on the mat. So you pull it up. We'll see if this was enough. It was pretty so Oh, Tim's good. I think he's starting to learn the lingo. This is what I wanted. So we'll see if this stuck. It actually says... Nah, it didn't stuck. It actually says liquid, liquid glue right on it. Oh, so. oh, so that was good, huh? Okay. So by putting this on, but I showed you my table. It looks a little better now, but not too much. So I'm still impressed he got it. Okay, are you seeing my whole work area, Tim? Now I have enough to put this on. And on this one, I can just kind of put it all over. But what's really awesome about this, when it dries, it dries clear. Now, if I'm using a little thinlet, I can do the same thing, and anything extra will stick to the mat. So it's amazing. So you can see right now it looks a little cloudy. And I'm putting this on. Um, this is a regular card piece. You might still see a little bit of the glue here, but when it dries. So it's a regular size card, and I put the foil down to five and a quarter by four, so I still have a little ridge of the mint macaron, so it kind of looks like a different layer there. Now it's going to stay on. Now how pretty is that? Then... Any comments? Oh, any comments? Oh, yes, uh, butterflies are awesome, too. But, and, you know, if you have the butterfly set, whichever that's called with the thinlets, a lot of these card ideas would work really well with that, too, which is really fun. Oh, <laughs> Grace said <laughs> she makes sure to watch at work so she doesn't schedule any meetings at this time. How often? <laughs> Karen asks, how often do you clean the sponge that you use with the glue? After I'm done using it, I rinse it out. But even when they get a little hard or a little, you know, they still seem to work really fine. And then I just throw them out. You know, it's like an, a sixth of a sponge. But I, well, I say I throw them out. I haven't thrown one out yet. So I'm just saying that I would. Now, I had just one of these left over in my little bucket of things. This is from the, ooh, name this. We're playing this. It is from I'm the, something about tags or labels. Lots of labels, I think. But you can tell me if I'm right. So I thought that would work to just put this on. And then when I'm going to put a card like this and I want the wings loose, I like to use glue dots. They hold really well. And I'm just going to put one 
and I press my item right to the glue dot and then right to the body and that's all I want on this one. This is a card I would love to give in person if possible. I mean, wouldn't this be pretty hanging on a bag or something? Because then it, you can have it like this. But if you send it in the mail, it'll still be lovely. And if you send it to a stamper, they'll know what to do with it anyway, right? So great. So those are a couple of glue things. We're going to set that aside because we're going to use it one time later. So here is our first card. Really simple. Could easily put words down here. Oh, I was going to add a couple of sequins so we could show the fine tip glue pen. Uh, let's see, I had sequins out here. Um, and I know I had them because I just moved them. But we'll say, uh, well, for the sake. I love sequins. Okay, and he would probably love to go hunt for them. They may be on the table too. There's a whole roll of them, they're in a little bag. Okay. So we'll come back and add the sequins to that one. Okay? So here's card number one, but to be finished, I, I, you know, I try hard to be organized, but it just doesn't really work. Now these, this, these thinlets are really fun for doing different backgrounds. So I thought we'd do a couple of fun backgrounds today. Tina says, me too, I pressed the projects on the, that. Okay, Lori said, Tombow glue is her preference. Yep, and that makes sense too. Okay, this card was designed by um, Georgia Jaguar, and here we're going to use the watercolor pencils. And you can see here we've got the little sequins in here. I'm just going to show this technique. I'm not going to finish a card on this even, but I just wanted to make sure that everyone has seen the new watercolor pencils, which are absolutely fabulous. And with these, you could play with any design at all. So I'm going to, I just took out some reds and oranges. And I'm going to just do some coloring here. How many of you like to color? I said with this coloring craze. You know, they say it's just good for you to just relax and do all that. Do you see my table jiggle? So I'm giving you a little seasickness there. Just got to add a little bit of that, you know. And then I will just take my, I say just a lot. Okay, then I will just take my. I've kind of worn out one. You see, my bristles don't really stick. That's okay. I have, a, I have a new set, too, for when it matters when I put it in. Now, depending on how wet I have this, and I am using the shimmery white paper on here because that'll work well. And you see how this just turns it all into watercolor? And I'm just going to keep on going through my colors because I want them to blend some. But I thought, how fun is that? And, of course, you can add more water, less water. If you're going to change colors and you want this clean or to clean at the end, you just squeeze until that's done. We're going to do something else with watercolor in a little bit, but how pretty is that? And then you could put your butterflies on top. So that's background number one. No, they're in a bag and they're on a roll. Okay. And they have little fancy sequins. I, I you know, I'll keep looking. he's going to keep looking and we'll see if um he actually... Yep, there's actually more in the ribbon hanging on the thing, too. So anyway, here's the background for this card. And, oh, yeah, and it's so fun. Uh, Sharon says that's great because she's got the pencils, and I thought, how, you know, that doesn't come easier than that. It's not messy. Now we're going to do one that's a little messier, but it's really fun. Sometimes we like to make a mess. So this is going to be the next background we're going to do. That's a watercolor. Wow, how fun is that? And what's fun about this is every time you do this, it's gonna, you're going to have a different look. So with this one, I'm going to take the watercolor paper, which, yes, we sell. And it's not going to matter which side I put it on. I'm just putting it on one of these pads because I can just wash it afterwards. So it's totally fine if it gets totally wet. Whoa. And now this one, I want my paper nice and wet. So I'm actually going to spritz it and get it nice and wet. See how wet that is? And then I have some ink refills. I like to use one of the blocks for the stamps. And I think I just have yellow and red on here because I thought we'd do a different color. This one I did yellow and blue and then the mix added the greens. And I thought I just thought that was really a pretty color together. 
But the fun part about this is you could just take anything and you can see by adding, oh, let's see, here's, here's what I want it to do. Now, if I don't think it's mixing enough, I'll just add more water. How fun is that? So I'm gonna add just some, some of the yellow wherever I want over here. Okay, then I will take this. Yeah, um, Pam says she loves watercoloring. And I think what's so fun about watercoloring is you can do so many different things with it. And they always, I have a lot of ink on that. So, okay, and then I'm gonna switch to the red. And I like how it all just kind of spreads out like that. Now, if I decided I wanted to go back and do more yellow, I could do that. And I'm thinking we'll get some orangey looks in here. Now, at any time, I could stop and let this dry, and it would be fun. If I want to go for a really water and I want to get some of the oranges, now I'm just going to spritz some more, and I'll let it just spread some more. This is like, you know, playing when you're with kids with things, and I just love how everything just turns out differently. And I can go through and blend some parts if I want. Oh, now we're getting some orange. Because then I thought it, then it ends up looking like a three-toned thing. Oh, I want that a little. If you ever get too much water on, you just use this to soak some up. But meanwhile, I'm just going to put in a little more color in here. Okay, so whenever you're done, you're done. You get to decide. And then you just set that apart to dry. But I thought, is that a fun look? So I'll set this aside to dry, and you can see I will still do a gold butterfly. And I love to do a little black trim off and around something. It just kind of sets it off, but then it's just on a white base. Pam says, is that your new Stampin' Up! jacket? Yes, it is. Kathy says, can you get the watercolor paper too wet? No, not really. You can always dry it, and even after it's dry, you can always just keep adding more. So look at how wet this is. You can just see it's just totally flooding down there. So only if it's too wet for your table. Empty-handed, I couldn't find it. Okay, and Donna says, yes, you can sprinkle salt on it, too, and that gives you a whole different look. There are so many things, so we could do a whole thing on watercolor sometime. That would be fun. But I just think this is the perfect stamp set for playing around with your backgrounds. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside to dry. When Tim shows his, um, does his little part, I will go get the sequence. <laughs> okay, so it will be... It will be continued. Okay, next card. And I took Kathy Seal's idea. Do you remember last week we, we were showing all these ideas that people did out of the same three products I sent them? I'm going to be doing that with customers this next week and in my customer group. So if you have bought anything from me in the last six months, because it is my customers after all, I would love to have you go here and request... Uh, to join. Um, we're going to be doing just really some fun challenges. Even if you don't want to participate, it's just, it's fun to watch what everyone else is doing. But the real purpose is for us to get to know each other better and to easily see what we're doing. But I'm going to be doing something really fun that I will be announcing on that group tomorrow. So it is facebook.com groups, or you can just search groups and then just look for back porch stampers. Um, and this is for my downline, just my downline. And for anyone who has purchase for me in the last six months. So it could even be a, a stack of the papers, you know, anything. So I look forward to doing that. So anyway, this was done by, oh, I better not get my new jacket, you know, watercolored here. This one was done by Kathy Seal, and a lot of people have commented on how fun this is with her different looks. So I did a variation on this, but I didn't do quite the extra detail that she did. But here is my card. I love black and pink together. And see, now she actually did a whole nother layer under there. So I said she went the extra mile. But this is with Melon Mambo. And this is actually a designer series paper, the birthday paper. But I don't know if you can see that really well. We're going to do the same one. And then the background is from the Urban Underground paper. Are you saying that that's Kathy's? No, that's Kathy's. That's I'm it. saying I used her idea. Okay. Because I think it's really fun to see where ideas come from as much as possible. I like to tell you if I, if I didn't come up with an idea, where it comes from. So I am using Urban Underground, and then I have this. This piece is a five by three and three quarters, and then this is a quarter inch less. So by putting this on...
Now, if I do this again, I would make my next layer this delightful Dijon. And actually, to put this on again, I can use a little bit of the... Here, I'll show this again. Since now, I think there's enough still on here. Because I want just a little bit on here, but I don't want to mess with my adhesive. Now look, see how all that is left there behind? And when this is dry, it just rubs off. If you ever did that with uh, school glue, you know, on your hands or wherever, and then you just rub it off. Oh, look what I found. I knew they were under there. There are the sequins. <laughs> Those are sequins? <laughs> I didn't think there was... So he, he didn't know what he was looking I for. I didn't know what I was looking for. Okay, I'm going to fit this right back in. This is what I thought were sequins. But I said that wouldn't work because they're self-attached. Oh, Those are rhinestones. rhinestones. Oh, okay. I was looking for rhinestones. Okay. Okay, so... Sequins. Now this is my base, and then from the same Urban Underground, I took one of the other papers. I don't know if you can tell. It's got a little design in it. And because I like my ends to be flipped up, as you know, I'm just going to go around and flip these up. There's a question about cookies. <clears throat> oh, Susie said, Tim, what kind of cookies? Oh, you know what? He's making some cookies. Today is the last day to actually sign up to be a demonstrator and get Tim's cookies and his card. He is making chocolate chip and ginger. So you can do a preference or you're going to get a little of each. Okay, so, so now here's my thing to put on top. And again, because I want them to flip up, I'm going to come back and use my... I'm only going to put two on to save the time. I can, well, I'm only going to put one on to really save the time because I want to take it off again <laughs> um, to fix it. So you see, then these are going to go on and just be attached. So we have one. And then I thought for this one, I would use some of the washi tape that goes with the Urban Underground. So we have any of these choices. I think either the gray or this. Actually, all three would be fine. I think these are fun colors together, the black and the delightful Dijon. Now if I can find the opening. Kathy says he makes good ginger cookies. Uh-huh, he does. <laughs> Sandy says we'll only make his cookies every month if we sign up. <laughs> Well, I think that's a bit much, but you know. Yeah, I don't think you can sign up every month. <laughs> okay, and I am going to cut this off, but you'll have the idea here. But how fun is that? So two different looks. You know, one is a much brighter feminine look and, and then wet, but it just kind of shows how you can take all these different colors and play around with them. Back. I'll be calling today then, Catherine says, wonderful, <laughs> even if you're sick. Actually, he'll make an exception for you because you did get in touch with me before, so <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> and Holly doesn't even eat cookies, but she said she'll take both kinds, right? Okay, so, <laughs> okay. Now, if I, to put these on, I wanted to show what the fine tip glue was. You know, it's good to have a variety of adhesives on hand because you do use them for different things. Now, for this, I like the fine tip glue pen. And the way I like to do it is to actually put my little dots right, right on my paper. And then to close this up, the best way, because that little bitty thing has to fit in there. Let's see if I can do this. Ugh. Let's see if I can do this from far away. I guess not. I have to hold it up closer. But if you stabilize it with your hand, then it goes in much better. Ta-da. Well, no. <laughs> This is the first time. I'm going to give it to Tim. Yeah. He, he can work on that. And then I take these, and I don't have my little tweezers either. If you have little tweezers, that can help. But I just plop these on top. And as you can see, I have a little time to work with this. So I can go and kind of putz around with this. So that is what you would want the fine tip glue pen for. One of the things. Uh, you can use it on putting, like if I wanted to put this I could use this the only thing I don't like about it is if any comes off to the side it stays really shiny and I just didn't like that shiny look that's why I love doing the sponging with the other okay so that is that let's see how our dried drying piece is looking Doesn't that look lovely it's gonna be really fun 
when that's done. Okay, let's see what else I have. I There's also a fun B in this. See, I'm going to have, maybe you take a couple. No, I'll just set them there. Making room is always the... Oh, see, I'm even getting my... Yeah, watercolor like that is kind of messy, but it sure is fun. Okay, there's also a really fun B in this stamp set. So we're going to do a couple of cards with this. So this is our first one. I love the words in this set. This one says, thanks for the smile and everything else. And if you notice, this looks kind of like a honeycomb. This is actually the new embossing folder. It's on the same page as the Urban Underground. And it is perfect with, if you do foil or something, it looks like metal. It makes great guys cards. We'll be doing that at some point. But it also makes other things. Now, here I wanted to get the little... Um, the little lines in there. So to do that, I'm taking a chocolate chip ink pad. And then on this, I'm going to use the back of the side that says Stampin' Up. So if I take that and just go over this a little bit, I can see it. I'm not sure you can, but I wanted to show you one thing here first. If I just put some paper in and close it and just rub it a little, I have some fun little chicken wire or something for the chicks. I might not press that quite hard enough, but if you can kind of see that. Because this is also great with the chicken thing. Okay, oh, I've got a card here. I have a card using that. Let's take this out. See what a fun background that makes for the, for the chick? So that's one way of doing it. Oh, and here is another cute chick card. This one is from Leslie Bumgarner. And you can see she's used this, you know, without that. But isn't that pretty? And it's the two things like this, and it opens like that. So another really fun card. So you will love this folder. So today we're using it as honeycomb for the bees. Donna says, why does the catalog say you should spritz your paper before you use that embossing folder? This folder is thicker, just like the cable knit folder, and so sometimes it can tear the paper. Now, I have not been spritzing my water, and I have not had a problem with it at all. So I think there, you know, it's more of a suggestion in case it kind of tears your paper. So now to put this through on the Big Shot, then, okay, so I would do this again. And, of course, for this paper, I'm going to get more on. I'll set that aside. And then I will lay my paper in. So when I put this through the big shot, here's what else is different about it. Do you love how well used mine is? Yeah, I'll put it this way in case you wanted to read it, I'm sure. But it still works. <laughs> but you're only going to use one plate instead of two with the sandwich because it's thicker. So it goes through just like this. And then when it comes out, it's going to look like this. And you can see the little brown lines in there. Why don't we bring the big shot out here and show, show them out <laughs> I decided that was just a little too hard. And then you can see what I've done is I've just gone through and cut, cut around wherever I wanted to do it. So I can get two cards out of this one paper because I will cut up one way and then I'll have the other way. Added my words, added the little black B, and on the inside, there is, the, there is a two-step stamp with the B, I put that. So this says, thanks for the smile and everything else, you sure know how to make someone happy. So a fun inside to that card. I want to just say something. Yeah. Um, our Saturday event at the church was so successful that Karen actually broke out her third. Um, <laughs> I bought another third book, Big, big Shot. <laughs> big shot. Her third, yeah, so but that had, was great. We had so many people there, we needed three Big Shots. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Okay, now I have another. Oh, okay. So here's another way to make a honeycomb. 
Okay, so here's a, a, a whole different card. So is this cute? Oh, this one's using Delightful Dijon. This one's using Crushed Curry. And here I have the bee just flying around, and these are just little hand lines. And, you know, he's having a great time because he's just all by himself. And on the inside, I'm going to put this. To a wonderful friend, enjoy your special day. Now, with this, uh, there is the stamp to go under this. Karen says that he's having fun because he's all by himself. Oh, I did say that, didn't I? I didn't mean that. But, but, but I, think, I think it's searching for a mate. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I didn't mean that's why I was having fun either. I was like, you want to spend your birthday alone? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'm just saying he's got, you know, he's just busy enjoying life. So there is the two-step stamp, but I also wanted to show that you can use any of these dies that are cut there. You can also sponge on a bigger piece, like flowers. They make um, a great look. On this, I just decided to color in with the same color. And with this bigger one, I'll actually use the little bigger. Yeah, I guess the bigger one works. But how cute is that? So another way of coloring. And then I also wanted to show for the words, it's got two layers of words here. And I, I like to put, if I'm going to be doing several cards, I like to put the words on together so they get kind of spaced. I mean, there's nothing perfect about that. And I angle it, if you notice that, because that's... um. Angling. So if you have trouble getting your words on straight, the best way to do it is to lay them, uh, or, or your stamps in general, your um, photopolymer stamps. You want to just lay them out how you want them. Because I'll just show you, if I'm doing this, it's really easy to twist it without meaning to. Now if I want to twist it, I'm going to do it this way. If I don't want to twist it, I can just lay them out just like this, whether it's one or two stamps. Ah, yeah, did you like that? Not, but do them the right side. <laughs> Flip them over, it works much better. And go directly down on the stamps, and then that way they will not be, they'll not curve or do things you didn't want them to do. So that's just a little hint for, for those. And then for making these, I used... I use the stitch square framelits. I tried it with the plain square, but I, I like the stitched ones better anyway. And I, I just kind of liked, you know, it's just kind of a funky look because they kind of go off the end, but I think it's kind of fun. And they aren't perfect by any means, but it just makes a fun look. So I first did that. And then I'm just going to angle this this way and put it through the big shot again. Was that fun? Love that hint, that great. Okay. <laughs> Carolyn says, thanks for explaining. I was wondering how that honeycomb got on the card. Okay, so we have all these things. So anyway, <laughs> everyone's talking about my laughter. Thanks, you guys. It is good to laugh, isn't it? So we can get together and laugh because, you know, we deal with cards and inks. It's, it's uh, relaxing and fun and even mistakes teach us things. It's all good. So can you see how that happens then? And that's what cuts off the edges to make the honeycomb. Now I have a couple of other really cute cards from people to inspire you. Thought I love this one. Now this doesn't have the brown. Look how lovely that is. And this is the look with the stitch square and then the scalloped square behind it. I think that's lovely. And she added on the black. Oh, I like that. She's got the mm, Wink of Stella. See, I'm just <laughs> waiting for everyone. I don't know if you can tell that. Can you see in there, Tim, with it? Um, but that just really adds. And this card is from Terry Meehan. And then one more that's really fun, and this is just plain stamped. So this is the two-step stamp that you see really well. And again, thanks for the smile and everything else. And these dots come in it in the set too, so it's really and look at the sequence. Great, oh, there! That's what Tim thought were sequins, and they, these are easier to work with, so yeah, so we do use those a lot. And this is by Carrie McHale. So now Tim is going to, oh, so let me try this Wink of Stella here on one of my little and we're just going to see, I'm just going to put it on a wing here because I can add the rest later so you can kind of see the difference and I'm not sure if this will pick it up or not but that's enough but do you see that difference I said that really is a fun 
addition. And it'd be great on the dragonflies too. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Tim is off the hook for stamping this week, but he's yes. going to share uh, three more cards with the perfect mix set. You know, that's the card he's making for anyone who joins my team. Uh, he's, he's making his version, and he's not quite ready for these, but these are some really amazing cards. And then after that, I'm going to show you a few more swap cards with the Dragonfly Dreams. Hello. Do you want to see my face or no? Oh. Yes. Okay. I want to see your so, face to start with. Hello, everybody. You can see that I'm, I'm not wearing a hat. I don't have a, a, a scarf on, so I'm, I must be feeling better. Or it's because I'm wearing a jacket. Yeah. So, <laughs> so. Um, one of the things that I wanted to say earlier was that when Karen talked about being alone, that this, this bee was happy because he was alone. <laughs> Actually... I haven't worked all week at Starbucks. They didn't schedule me because Starbucks gets really slow in January. So um, I have not worked all week. I had like eight days off in a row. And Karen really does like to work in a quiet house with nobody here. And so she has been kind of subconsciously thinking <laughs> that it's, it's time to, for you to go back to work. So tomorrow I'm going back to work. You want to say something, my dear? No, I was just thinking the bee was happy because it had discovered things, you know, and then it would go tell all its friends. So see, oh, I'm, I see. I'm just trying to get myself out of this pit. Yes. <laughs> now, this is actually sequins. Sequins? Are they sequins? No. Rhinestones, I think. Rhinestones? Yes, I get, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so um, Beth Tetzloff made this, and this is actually, if I do something like that, that's a lot, lot, a lot of work. But it is so cute. It You'll is have so to work cute. on his fussy cutting. I'm My just fussy cutting, what that, yes. What fussy cutting. Called. See the fussy cutting? Beautiful card. Beth Tetzloff. I love that color combination, too, of the black and the Bermuda Bay, I'm thinking. I'm colorblind, so it doesn't really matter. Another one. This is by Jill Hilliard. Another cute one. This maybe is a little, no, I was going to say this is easier. No, it's got a ribbon on it. Or a, yeah, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. So you'll, you'll, it'll be interesting to see what you end up getting from me because this is. You're uh, going to get the one he showed. <laughs> yes, there you go. And that was by, I think I said, Jill Hilliard. And this is my third one by Julian Knutson. Um, Beautiful. This is an egg carton, and she actually did a little embellishing with one of the, the eggs. She she painted it in a happy face, which is so cute. Anyway, I'm um, looking forward to making cards for you, so, um, and cookies. I'm going to make cookies, and... Um, one day left to respond. Yes. And, you know, you can't go wrong with the starter kit. Nope. It or my cookies. Awesome deal. Or, or Tim's cookies. <laughs> That's right. All right. Carrie, are you back? Yes. So if I've convinced you that you need this dragonfly bundle, I said here's just a few more ideas to go with it. And as I said before, when you place a $50 order in my online store, you actually get five cards in the mail, three kits and two cards. Okay, you can show it on here. I think I'll just do it here. So again, you can go to my website and see the, the code right there. And also the starter kit. Uh, just message me if you want to talk about that because, again, it's just an awesome deal and you get those two extra free stamp sets. So meanwhile, I'm going to show you a few more cards. Love this color combination. This is the Going Gray and the Mint Macaron. How pretty is this? With, um, and this has the Wink of Stella, too. This one is by Lynn Feldkamp. And I just like this little layering and all the details. Okay. Is that long enough? Oh, and I was just going to say, if you would like Tim to show your card on <laughs> Facebook Live, 
I'd suggest you send him one with perfect mix. I think it would be just a stitch if he got some of those in the mail. So <laughs> anyway, that's just a, a little, um, then, then he'll be obligated to make you a card back. Another lovely card, just with the fun colors and the designer series paper. So just by drawing colors out of the paper. And this one is by Janine Swain. And this one is by Melissa Roberts. And here you, oh, she's got little pearls on hers. And this is some of the ribbon that is a free choice for celebration. I think it's great to have ribbon there, the words there, and you've got your two colors and that, that dotted background. And one more by Linda Bowen. And what I was going to point about this one, do you see this ridge around here? She actually used the watercolor technique that I was showing over here, basically, just by, but um, it's kind of a monochromatic, but you can see she used, I'm guessing that looks like an acrylic block, which is a great way to do these. If you didn't use that, you can also use the blue painter's tape, you know, and make a frame. But this looks to me like the edge of a frame. So another great idea for using that. So that's it. Um, Carolyn said she's got a pond full of dragonflies and she loves the colors. Yep, the imagination of everyone is just so wonderful. And I just got a message here. Congratulations. This is your most liked live video yet. That means you guys are sharing my videos, getting more people to come. I totally appreciate that. I value that you take time out of your busy day to spend this hour or less. You know, it's going to be a half hour, but I think we've just been expanding. Well, 40 minutes, that's, that's not so bad. So somewhere in there for our little uh, TV show, <laughs> what I like to call it. I appreciate all of you. Feel free to ask me questions anytime. If you want a catalog, just message me. I send them out. I'm going to the post office in uh, 30 minutes. So if you message to me now, it'll go in today's mail. Or actually, Tim is going to the post office in 30 minutes. I right. should be more correct there. And in anything else you need to know, I love hearing from you. Any other comments? comments? Oh, Teresa said it's her birthday also. Oh, send me your email. I would love to send you a card. Now, if I suddenly have 40 people saying that, I'm going to think about it, but that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? But I would love to send, you know, when it's your birthday week, tell me when it's your birthday week, because I would love to send cards to the, all of you watching for taking my tame off. That didn't make any sense, but Catherine says, happy birthday, ladies. Happy birthday, everyone. Wonderful, wonderful, and thank you so much. See you next week. Bye. Bye.